Hi everyone, today we're going to cover member portal, precisely three profile features. Let's start by creating a new client. Let's click new client, select the type and pick their name. Save. Within the profile, we can see an access tab. Let's click on it. We do have an option to enable access for this particular client to log into their profile, update their profile information, match preferences, upload pictures and videos. The only thing we need is their email address. Let's type their email address. And let's update this page. Let's refresh. Now we can see this green button. We can create their account now. We can always edit this message or select from our templates. For now, let's click send and let's wait for that email. While we're waiting, it's a good thing to mention that this free profile feature is available for all subscription plans, premiums and basics as well. We just receive a new email. Let's open it. Before we click this link, let me just log out and let's click this link. Your client is prompted to create a password. Let's create it. Here we see your logo, your colors, all professional. Continue to profile. Next thing is they gotta accept your terms and conditions. You can change them and edit them in the settings. Let's click I agree. And that's it. Now they logged into their profile. They will see your professional logo, your colors. They'll be able to update their profile information. They'll be able to update their match preferences. They'll be able to upload pictures and videos as well. And the cover picture. What a profile without a cover picture. Let's upload a cover picture. Let's now upload a video. And a few pictures as well. All right. And a video. All right. So, next thing, they do have a profile completeness too. This bar will show how full their profile is. So, if they do miss some information, they will see it right over here. They gotta keep it 100 if they wanna find the best match there is. Our video is now uploaded. We can always play it here. Let's talk about automation. Let's log out and let's log back in as administrator. We can always automate this through our submission form, of course. Let's go to our submission form settings and let's open this member portal submission form. You can create anytime. If we scroll down, we can see auto create user setting. All we gotta do is just set, set it to yes. And what this means and what it does, after people, after people fill all of this information and click submit, they'll receive an email to create their membership account within your system. Let's demonstrate it. So let's, um, no more Arthur's for today. Let's say it's Alex, a, um, let's enter our name. Let's submit it. Member portal submission form has been sent. So it's not, it's not just any submission form, it's member portal form now. This will save you so much time, you wouldn't have to go through all of those manual steps that I showed you in the beginning. 
create a new client, updating the information. Here's our new email. Let's open it. Before we open it, let me log out from our admin. Let's log in. All right, same procedure. We're creating a password. We're accepting the terms and conditions. And then we rock. We upload our cover pictures. We upload our videos, update our profile info, and mention preferences as well. Tracking all the profile completeness here. And boom, it's all great. Let's log out now. Log back in. Now, let's go ahead and play with the settings. We are always in control. We can always play with permissions. We can um, allow people and clients to see and not see certain things. We can hide fields from them and tabs. Let's, uh, let's start with fields, perhaps. Let's go to settings, client, and fields. So in the field setting, and let's open some random client profile for now. Let's say it's going to be um, Jeffrey. So we can see a hobby, pro hobby field here. And here's our hobby field. And we can uncheck it for Jeffrey. So Jeffrey won't be able to see this field. Available for clients, we can set it to no. Let's log in as Jeffrey. And we can see that there is no hobby field. It's still there, but it's not visible for Jeffrey. Let's log back in. Same goes for match preferences. So if we go to settings, client and open matching, we can control which match preference fields they don't see and do see. Same concept from yes to no. And let's cover their interface now. If we go to settings and click menus and scroll down to client interface top menu. What this means, what this means, I'm going to show you. Let's log in as Jeffrey. It's what the clients see, which tabs and main menus they have access to. So, profile, photos, videos. We can hide them from him, so he's, he won't be able to upload his pictures and videos here anymore. That's what that means. We can also change um, parenting. So, let's say we want to hide pictures and videos. Well, not hide, but to put them into drop-down menu. We can do that through the parenting. So let's say pictures will go to profile and, um, and videos will go to profile as well. Let's, um, let's refresh this page now and boom. So we can change this interface. It's all customizable. We can log in to look to his pictures. We can have access to videos. It's, um, it's over here. Oh, wow, Jeffrey, go ahead for videos. Let's log out, log back into our administrator page. But the most important thing for interface and get ready, buckle up. You can create your website, your website button there. How it works. Let's create a menu item. Let's say your awesome website. So, next thing you do is provide a URL. Um, URL, what's the best website that I know? Blizzard. I enjoy playing their video games. So let's save it. Now, let's uh, go back to Jeffrey's profile. Let's log in as Jeffrey. Here's your awesome website. 
your client can click on this thing and boom, they now take it to your website. Pretty awesome, ain't it? Smart Match app is always here for you. And our number one priority is to make your life easier, make you work smart, and make your business prosper. Thank you for watching. See you next time.